Hello everyone, this is Jeff Vitale Flare Mouse. In this episode of Test Tube Torture Test, we're going to use just table sugar and see what kind of effect that has. It's going to be difficult because it's a totally dry product and I haven't done anything like that before. The trick with this material, because it's dry, it won't necessarily carry away the heat fast enough and the glass can overheat and actually melt. So I have a very, very light flame on this thing. Now many people have said, hey, you need to be using a Bunsen burner. Well, that'd be great, but I'd probably have to replace the Bunsen burner every test as the test tube goes smashing down on top of it. But the main reason I put the heat on the side and the bottom is to uh, just isolate the heat to the bottom of the test tube and try to uh, keep as much heat away from the cap and the plug so that we can really build up a lot of pressure and heat in this thing. If we heat it from the bottom, the heat would migrate up a lot faster to the top and just ruin the experiment. From the moment I started heating it until it failed was about five minutes, so I'll, I'm just going to cut through the boring part. Since I um, applied the heat so gently, it took a lot longer for this experiment to, to fully uh, complete. So you can see that the sugar is liquefying. We're getting smoke because it's actually burning, which means that we're probably applied just a little too much heat to it. Um, it's very tricky to, you know, apply the heat where the uh, sugar will pull away the heat as fast as we're applying it, but the trick here is not to overheat the glass. Okay, we're going to speed up the video now four times because a lot of things are happening here and I don't want to bore you. Um, the level starts to rise. You can see that the sugar is completely melted at that point. It's completely a liquid. The level rises and we'll see some familiar things here. The level will start to drop. This, as you can see, the smoke has also disappeared, but the level will drop. The liquid is completely black, which, you, as you know, that's a good sign that it's, something's going to happen. I gotta say that was one of the most uh, energetic reactions I've ever seen in these test tube videos so far. Uh, I did not think it was gonna work, to be honest with you. Now ideally I want the plug to blow out, but I used a different uh, material this time. I used an epoxy putty to cap and seal the top of this test tube. And uh, the result was just the pressure built up so great, uh, it just actually blew the glass out. So this segment, uh, we sped up 16 times. We get the smoke, the smoke disappears, the level rises the level starts to drop as the pressure starts to increase and boom it goes anyway thanks for watching